Namaskar, good evening. I never seen so quiet crowd ever in my life. <laughs> you're not, hello, friends, you're not watching cricket match. For God's sake, enjoy yourself. We come here for evening, remember, our best man's. We have to talk about my hero, Tiger Patodi, but not so many serious faces, please. <laughs> enjoy a little bit. I'll give you a few incidents. The best was not Tiger Patodi when he wrote to me. He said, don't quit. Wait for a few days, then decide. <laughs> so I said, OK. I waited for 15 years. <laughs> Telegraph. I think, Avik, thank you very much for inviting me, giving me this opportunity to talk to such a, I would say, very smart, intelligent people, cultured people. I'm from agriculture background, so, <laughs> so I, I always wonder how to behave when I come to the culture side. Over the period of time, I learned that a little bit. Still not, I have a finesse, a culture finesse. I still come out with agriculture, shorts. And a second thing which I remember, I normally don't write points, but I thought today is a very important day for me. So I must write a few points. I, don't, I shouldn't miss out anything. And uh, yes, Tiger Patodi does ask me about the fast bowler. But somebody from Calcutta Media asked my mom, why couldn't we produce another couple there? <laughs> and my mom, you know, 75 years old, then she said, Kapil's father died. <laughs> and I'm too old. She said, I'm too old. Father died. I don't have any hanky panky. So if I known this, a cartoon-looking boy will become a cricketer, will fulfill the need, I would have produced 10 more. <laughs> I was the seventh child in my family. So mother could have been 17 kids. But talking about Tiger Pratodi, yes, I must be four years old when I when Tiger Patodi started playing. But I remember about Tiger Patodi. He fought an election uh, from Chandigarh first time. I was very young. I went miles to see him, to take a glimpse. Because one is royalty, second, the style. Nobody had better style than Tiger Patodi. We all tried. Doesn't matter which cricketer. Heart in heart, he tried, bending the cap on side looking, standing, all those things, but nothing achieved close to what he achieved. He had style, finesse, everything. And top of that, he got a lovely wife too. <laughs> Can you imagine? They had a great time. Cricket gave me, honestly gave me a life. I come from uh, after the partition, Family come from other part of India. Now it's called Pakistan. Had a very tough life. Not me, my parents. I was uh, barely good enough to handle myself. Born in Chandigarh. Enjoyed every minute. And what we enjoyed cricket in this country was unbelievable. I like Imran Khan said that. You know, I was... Uh, just thinking, he said, thank God he studied in Oxford. And he played for the country. Had I studied in Oxford, I wouldn't have played cricket. <laughs> Definitely not. Because I wasn't good in studies. So my mom said, go, son, go and play. You can't study. It's not your cup of tea. <laughs> so I, I picked the right thing. So it was a great to know Tiger Patodi because I think uh, stories are more important. Today, if somebody asked me, Kapil, what do you miss in cricket? I said, the dressing room, not the ground. Honestly, the dressing room stories are so beautiful. Uh, some of the story I can't even express. 
I can't even explain, I can't even share, because those stories should stay with me and die with me. So I think that's the part they've given us. The fearless cricketer had given us so much joy. Today is television. During those periods, it was stories. And stories tellers are the best people. Sometimes you watch on television, you make your own mind. But somebody came and tell you the story, how good he played cover drive. And you start imagining, knowing about Tiger Patodi, one of the best fielder then. We just wonder, you know, what was the feeling then? And today, we can see the people working very hard to become the champion. But certain people have the talent, God-gifted talent. And I think Tiger Patodi had everything. I was very, very unlucky, could not play with him or couldn't see him playing. Friend, philosopher, he was a man who didn't talk much. That was the best part. But he was waiting for the opportunity where he can put two and two. And people, he used to say one line and go. And first time when I saw and met him in Frosha Kotla, I said, good evening, sir. He didn't look, he just looked through. And I felt, I said, what I have done wrong? You know, he's tying up Tony, I'm, I'm playing for country. He said, you're on the wrong side of him. So be on the right side of him. So, so I understood a little later. I said, what? He said, he can't see from one side. I said, how oh, he played cricket? He said, go and start reading about him. You can well imagine if you have one eye and go to the toilet, you will bang your head 10 times. And this man was genius, no doubt about that. I wouldn't talk more than that because I'm very emotional towards him. Because I used to, I would say I used to love him. I used to feel jealous the way he used to get, you know, respect and enjoyed himself. I was an agriculture boy, couldn't do that. <laughs> I think the most important is the captaincy. And captaincy, what, is, what I understand, it's very important how you think. Clarity is important. And Tiger must be very clear in his head what he wants to do. And the captain only succeed what he's thinking and what he's saying is the same thing. A lot of captain over the period of time I've seen, they think something and they say something. And that's the dangerous part. But you start respecting a person who think and say it. This is what I think, this is what it is. And those are the people who make great captain. What does captain has? You can well imagine, leader, a hundred years back, what does leader had? When there is no mic, nothing. Then the voice was very important. You have to be strong enough to say what you want to say that. I think all our leader, or people during that era, must be a great speaker also. And your speech will only come out better and better if your thought is clear. And that's what I call captain and a leader. There's no different in that. Yes, over the period of time, you start developing things. You develop few things. A something you carry from your family, the fighting spirit. Like my father would say, what happened? Why are you crying? I said, bahut mara. So don't cry here, go and beat him. So that's how it's come out, how you want to fight, fight your own battle. And that's what we miss sometime. It's not the time of Mahatma Gandhi, that was a different era. When somebody slap you, you give second cheek, slap me here. Today, no, you touch me, I'll hit you. That's the attitude required in sports. And sometime we do miss that. But again, you have to think positive. 
to become like that. That's another part. Who is the good captain to me? When I was young, growing up, on my first tour, they used to call me JB. JB is real sense Jarbuddi. Bombay cricket dominated, and they used to think they are the smartest people around. No doubt they are. They can afford to say that. Out of 50 years or 45 years of Ranji Trophy, they won 35 times. So you can't blame them. The arrogance was there. And I come from a, a small time town, start playing, and they said, <laughs> so I used to enjoy. My friend said once, Kapil, keep your eyes and ears open while sleeping. You will be successful. And I start wonder, am I a Jarbuddi? <laughs> what he's saying, keep your eyes and ears open while sleeping. He said, don't literally go what I said. The meaning is, keep your eyes and ears open all the time. You will be a successful man. And that day I learned from all my captain, what do I have to pick from where? Like Bishan Singh Bedi, my first captain, I enjoyed. He had a big heart, very big heart. Typical Sardarji. Not bother about what happened on the field sometime, but played with a passion. And I said, that's a good, you know, he has a heart. And then uh, next captain come out, Sunil Gavaska. He didn't have a big heart, but big thinking he had. He used to think a lot. And I said, I want to be like Vishen Singh Bedi off the field. On the field, I like to be like Sunil Gavaskar. And that word, I understood, keep your eyes and ears open. So start learning. You may be leader, you may be inborn thing you have, but you can pick up a few things from somewhere and add to your strength. So Sunil gave me he start planning how to do that. And then it come to their agriculture stuff, which they didn't have, both of them. They only have culture. You require agriculture also sometimes, hitting below the belt. In sports, it's nothing wrong. But not like Virat Kohli, <laughs> who bounced before even you say hello. Not like that also. <laughs> That's the way I look at Captain Steve. So I start learning what good thing I can pick up. And when they made me captain, one of the selectors said, huh, how can we make Kapil Dev captain? I come to know that. They said, why? He can't speak English. I said, koi admi Oxford se leo. Wo English bolega, main cricket khelunga. <laughs> it was funny thinking. We want to have a little bit fun, huh? some stories <laughs> which we enjoyed the most. So I said, that's funny. Is that English that important? I realized it must be very important because English people used to play this game. <laughs> it's fine. So I take it. Few things in my life, I take it very hard but not negative side, on positive side. I said, okay, I'll learn English. Maybe not the best English. That's very important. So I said a message to that guy. I said, okay, I will learn. And how can I learn English when I went to West Indies? <laughs> First press conference, they asked me, Wapning man. Wapning man. I said, what is that? <laughs> so my, my manager said, he's saying, what's happening, man? <laughs> so I wonder, now what English I have to learn? 
But then I said on my first captaincy, I said, okay, I learn English, but I went to the press conference. I said, listen, guys, if you want me to talk to you for the next three months, can you speak a little bit which I can understand? <laughs> Otherwise, you can speak to manager all the time, day in, day out. I won't talk to you because you can't come to your, my level, I can't come to your level. I was very clear. But what happened over the period of time, I said, no. When you are captain, you have to learn a few things. So I couldn't speak best, but I managed myself. And it was happened, the same coach asked me, he said, can you ask, come and talk to my boys? The person who said to me he can't speak in English, I said, okay. I said, that's funny. So I started my that. I said, my senior cricketer think when he was picking me, yeah, I can't play for the country or I can't be a captain of the country if I don't speak English. So don't learn cricket first, learn English. <laughs> so that, that type of life I had, but it's a wonderful life. You know, it's beautiful because taking a challenge is the most important thing. I took a challenge throughout my life. A cricket board people said, you can't become a fast bowler. I said, I'll try. What's wrong? They said, we won't give you more than two chapatis. I said, my mom won't let me play. North me, agar roti ni khane ko milegi to tumhe kaise khelne denge. So those type of things I fought a lot. But in the end, what happened was a beautiful thing. I start eating less. I start talking more. <laughs> I mean, 30 years back, I couldn't talk. If I have to come here, oh, man, I would have sitting five times in my room and talking to myself, what should I do? Uh, playing cricket is much easy. Today I say talking is much easier than playing cricket. <laughs> That's what it happened. But I say thanks to Sunil Gaskar. He asked me, in New Zealand, he said, look, I have to talk. I have taken money, and I am busy. I can't do, you know, talking like that. He said, will you manage? I said, sorry, bhai, English nahi aati. Can't talk in English. He said, you will manage, don't worry. I said, are you sure? He said, yes, you will manage. He said, they will give you $10,000, which I never declare to income tax. Don't say no. <laughs> so I got dollars. And I start talking. <laughs> and I start making money out of that. The best part about human being is how you can make money also. It doesn't hurt to anybody. So I give a lecture, and I don't know what I talk. But I said, I remember one thing. I say, sorry about my accent. You won't understand. I won't understand, because I have a vocabulary only for three minutes. So after 10 minutes, I finished the lecture. I said, that's enough. And that person come out, will you talk again? I said, my prize is double. <laughs> I come from a business family. I come from a business background, so I know how to make two and two. Hmm. Now, if we are talking about captaincy, the cricket have changed so much over the period of time. You know, last 15 years, things have changed. In cricket, one thing is good, everybody is expert. That's good part. And I, I feel that's why this game is so popular. Panwala also knows that. Usko kyu bheja, isko bhejna tha. So we, we say, subah morning mein, uh, a waiter come to your room, knock the door, sir, Galti kya usko leke. Everybody is selector in our country. The cap captaincy is very interesting part. What I feel captaincy is, bore to nahi ho na? English son ke. It's a serious work, man. I spent six hours doing this. And aapko maza raha meri jaan nikal rahi hai. This, the captaincy is very important. Now the game has changed. A test match, one day cricket, T20. Then, I don't know what. Next. 
we always, all the cricketer believes, who played a big cricket, meaning who played test cricket, everybody can't play test cricket, but everybody can play 2020 cricket. And that's the best part about this. So there is opportunity for everybody to represent their country. It's not the wrong thing, it's a good thing. I represent my country, game become more popular. Uh, that's what a cricketer want. What does cricketer want? Like Panka is sitting here, my friend. He played billiards, how many people you know that? He achieved more than what we achieve in our lifetime. But you don't follow that. But he also liked to see that everybody follow billiards. So that's why I'm very proud, you know. The cricket is followed by everybody. Then it come to the captaincy. It's not important now. A test captain can do the captaincy in T20. No, it's not like that. Is that my phone? No, I left it far away. I left it there. Sorry, wifey, I can't talk to you. OK, doesn't matter. My wife was. She's like lightning. She's light also these days. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a partnership. I'll tell you about wife also. You have to have a good partner. In a batting, you need a batsman. And getting one, two, one, two. In life also, you need a good partner. Otherwise, you will run out most of the time. I've seen many, <laughs> many partnerships getting run out. But people who play well, smart, don't let, let everyone know what's happening. They play a little longer inning. <laughs> so the captaincy come back into that is every test player can't be a good captain at T20. And every T20 captain definitely not good enough to be captain the test cricket side. Very difficult because Test cricket, you need thinking. And one day, thinking ke bina bhi little bit, you can carry away. And that's the difference between captaincy. But I think, I hope, my country, my senior cricketer who is looking after that, and the cricket board will have that sense of if we can have two or three different captains, it will help our game. Then these days, it comes to the captaincy and the managership and the coach. The American are very funny people. They don't understand, oh, either I don't understand English correctly. Mr. Kumar, you can tell me that. What is a captain or manager? And coach. America, everybody is coach. How can anybody teach me fast bowling if my coach is the only one who can? But he can manage me. My manager can manage me. He can't be my coach in cricket. But as the word is coach given by American and taken by every every part of the world. They, are, they know how to package well. They have that art. To my mind, man management we require in our cricketing, not a coach. Coach can be your senior cricketers. I remember when I was playing cricket, I was bowling and Sunil Gavaskar come to me. He said, Kapil, whenever you bowl close to the wicket, I can't understand. I find difficulty. A caliber of that player. I think the best player ever we've seen. When somebody playing with you, you don't realize how good he is. But he was the best. And he's telling me, Kapil, come close to the wicket. I find difficult to pick your outswinger. So he can be my coach because he can understand relationship between two. When you become a coach, 
I think then coach will be where you learn your beginning of your cricket and then your colleague can be your coach. That's the way I look at it. Other people is always manager who manage you well to get the best out of you. That's the way I look at the manager and coach and captain. I think the time will come when we will have non-playing captain. A time will come, very difficult, but I think technology is changing so fast, they will pick up something where they can spend another million dollar and get 20 million dollar out of that. That's the business. And today, I can criticize a lot of technology, but I feel proud also. We can see the game from such a small, such a close corner. You can enjoy that, which we could never ever seen that. And that's why I always see, feel, you know, technology is good, but more than that, you may have non-playing captain who can assess, because today, sometime, we can assess the game much better when we were playing, because we don't have that body, we have a brain. And once you reach certain age, your brain start working well, and your body start going down. I often say that, God, give me 50 years of brain and 20 years of legs, I'll beat everybody. And God said, no, reach 50 and I'll give you 50 years of body. So I have both 50 years of brain and 50 years of body. I won't take much of time, I promise, because from New Zealand to now, I graduated. And now I, I would say, I don't like to talk about our time. Everybody loved to talk about, I always used to feel, it's not too good to talk about our time. Because it's very difficult to compare. But I can say, I feel very proud and happy. I was the part of 1983 team. I was a part, forget about captain, I was a part, a part of a something we started in this country. That's what we believe. That called self-belief in sportsmen, not in cricket, in sports and sports girls. They all start believing they can achieve it. And that was the best part happened about 1983. My team, our team, your team. Now it's the last. I want to wish my team, this is young team, apart from the captain who left it halfway through the series, but he done a good thing, I tell you. A lot of people said he should have played 100 test matches, he could have played another. I think he given us a new thought. You don't have to play throughout your life. You should retire when you think the next generation is coming. And Greg Chappell said one thing which I admire. He said, a, a cricketer who play longer than his time, you kill the next three generations. It's just a thought which I admire. And that's why I said, Dhoni, well done, you're my man. You could have easily played 200 test matches. We couldn't do it what you done it. You said goodbye, because I done my best, let the next generation come out. I hope in cricket, the administration people will learn that. I'm on administration for this. For the last 30 years, I should go, not to stick to one chair throughout your life. And that's what Dhoni did. And Dhoni, I love you for that. You are a great guy. You serve the country so well. And I wish you another victory. I hope you play well. If you don't play well also, it doesn't matter. But play the way your team knows, the way you know how to play the game. Only one team have to win. And let's hope my team win, our team win. 
But if don't, don't let it go. It come after every four years, and waiting for four years is painful when you don't win. Once again, thank you very much for inviting me. And Mrs. Fataudi, Rinku, I would say that. Thank you very much. You had a great partner of your life. You've got beautiful kids. We want to wish you and your family all the strength. But certain people don't go. Tiger never gone anywhere. He's with us. He's the best cricketer we had. And we are proud about him. He given us a new thought, thinking. You don't have to play the game. You can look good also. <laughs> he was a smart cricketer. A lot of people follow. I follow. Thank you very much once again. You are inviting me. <laughs> you know, when they called me to Oxford to speak, I remember all those days. Oxford University asked me to give a lecture. I didn't know. I cried in front of my daughter. I said, they must be idiot. <laughs> <laughs>